Hello, hello. Okay, something's not working here, isn't it? Okay. One cable, how much? Jesus. Okay, it is probably working now, so hopefully it's going. So I don't know if. Okay, there it goes. <laughs> that was difficult. It shouldn't have been, but it was. Anyway, hello, this is Hellbade's number two, Santa Monica Sacrifice. Quick warning if anyone is sensitive to um, images and sounds um, depicting psychosis of any kind I would recommend not watching this game it can be quite triggering and frightening uh, that being said I loved the previous game it was called Sadawa Sacrifice it was the first time I ever experienced a game with binaural audio I gave my first stream yesterday I had no uh, f commentary I forgot the word there for a second I had no commentary in that one because I just wanted to get the audio but I'm going to be having a bit of a gas bag for this one because I want to I want to be able to talk, I want to stream, I want to be able to talk with people when they show up, so here we go. It's a fun game. We've just escaped a town that was getting attacked by a Drago, and then it was crushed by what I think was some kind of evil god. We'll find out later. Hope you enjoy, thank you for coming, and thank you for watching. Hope you have a good time, and I hope I have one too. Let's my settlement. In pain. I led my people Broken. here. Promised them a new life. This home. An escape from the madness and misery across the sea. And for some time we were happy. Like us. We were happy. Until him. Well, then the volcano and the darkness came. It started enslaving people. Ittoyga stalks my settlement when night falls. She tramples our crops and kills what little livestock we've left. 
We're starving. Why don't you leave? <laughs> We've tried. They failed. No matter how far we get by day, as night falls, she hunts us down. And there are children here. People too weak to run. We're trapped. Night on night, our numbers fall. He is asking you to help. No, he isn't. They need you. They are dead if they don't fight back. Those voices, by the way, of the women talking, those are voices inside Senawa's head. She seems to hear them choose to control what she experiences as a child. She experiences a child, she's experienced a great deal of trauma through many things. I'm not sure what the diagnosis is on that. Those voices are Dutch. She is here. Gods. The same as we are. What a ruin. Where is everyone? On the rocks. Hi. Safe. Rito, I can't reach them. You should have joined us when we offered you the chance. There is no honor in the path you've chosen. Say that again, old man. And I'll cut you like a fish. Thorgester, have a look around you. Have a thought as to who your real enemy is. What does he mean, who is the real enemy? The giants are the real enemy. No honor. He said there was no honor in the enslaver's path. Which path did he choose? This place has secrets. She needs to find out. She can see the thread that binds the world feel its hidden pulse and knows when that pulse quickens uh, that voice she feels it now a tremor on her skin a being taking shape something is coming thank you <laughs> oh come on why are you sinking data Sorry, it's a. Uh, this is a brand new console I got in yesterday. What is it? Uh, Rising from beneath the still earth. working out things. He knows. He can sense it too. Can you feel it? Can she? She can feel it. She brings the rage. Did you feel that? She's coming back. It's coming. Wait. Ildoiga. Ildoiga. She destroyed. She will destroy again. Bill Togo is the giant she that knows. destroyed the village I was in the previous episode. The giant of some kind. I don't know what she's here. Giant. You need to run. Run! Ah! She's here. Let's go. Get, get, get to the hills! Get out of here. <laughs> Get out! 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 Get out!
So strong they dream a new world. I have their moment. own creation, and they will not sit lonely in that nightmare. If you wake the dreamer, does the nightmare die? <laughs> <laughs> When the volcano erupted, it tore open the wall between this world and your time. world suffers too. The giants came flooding from the east, killing and eating More whomever they could lay their hands on. And now some of us, we hide. You have to fight, not hide. Make defenses, struggle on. And some of us use others to stem the tide. Others? What do you mean? Tell, tell her, Fulgister. Tell me, tell me. Shall I tell her what your father's been doing? What else is there to do, Fagrimmer? We found a way to keep our people safe. He is part of it too. He believes. Your people are dying. There is no other way. Tell us, tell us. What are they doing? The Gorde of Borgarvirki is using slaves. Slaves from your lands. Sacrifices. Sacrifice. He's offering them to the giants so that his people will be left. He takes innocent people. Evil. This stops now. He's a monster. You can't stand alone against us. You have no chance. He does not see, but he can see. His darkness is evil. We can show him. He's a monster. There is another way. There is always another way. Tell her as you mark now. If you try to leave the Red Hills, he will hunt and kill you. No. And I will kill her first. She, she can't be killed. It's impossible. I have killed a god, Fagrima. Nothing is impossible. No, there is no way. He is right. We cannot kill no. the giant. The gods cannot be killed. You can't. You deserve this. Why did you come here, Senua? To stop the slavers? You thought you were helping. And now you are stranded. Stay. You can't stop them. You can't kill the giant. You can't stop them. I will. I will kill the giant. I just want to talk about the, talk about that real quick. In the previous game, we were in Helheim uh, because of uh, because Senua's lover was killed, and she wanted to try and bring his soul back. But when we got to the when we got there, uh, Hell, the leader of Hell, um, or Hella, which is called Hell in this game, H E L one L, uh, she basically 
beat the crap out of us <laughs> and made it impossible. And then at the end of the game, she kind of accepts the fact that she can't bring Dillian back, and then she goes to hell. That's just where the, that's where the game ends. I guess I think the game the ending is a bit ambiguous. I think is what the word is, where you just kind of have to put together your own story as to exactly what happened afterwards. I don't think we c actually no we did. I was going to say I don't think we killed gods in that game. We fought them, we beat them. I don't know if we necessarily killed them. And actually, this is a giant that we're fighting. In the previous game, one of the first bosses, there's two that you can go to in either order. One of them was Surta, and he was the fire giant. And he said that a volcano exploded. Maybe when we fought and possibly killed, but definitely defeated Surta, maybe we call, caused that volcano to explode, which is what's causing... Um, this breach of realms maybe maybe we cause this however inadvertently because so far at least in this game it seems to be a bit of a thing where if, while Senawab has the best intentions unfortunately things aren't going well and things are turning out bad and and while I don't think that they are her fault, some people could twist them around to say that they were. But if Senua going to Helheim, and one of the first things she does is beat a fire giant, Surta, she is the cause of what's happening now with Ilfida. I hope that's not the case because I don't want Sen I don't want Senua to sacrifice. I don't want Senua to suffer, rather, more than she is. But that's a, an interesting storyline to take. I'm quite, I'm very interested to see what happened. It's also a possibility that between games, uh, maybe we will get a flashback later, that Senua actually fought and beat Hell. Because in the game, in the previous game, Senua sacrificed. We never actually reach Hell, the character. We fight her armies. And we see her, we get very, very close, but we keep having to fight this horde. And it's the kind of situation where it's be like Halo Reach, or, or Reach, Breach, one or the other, uh, where you can't win, you, you fight until you're defeated. And that's then that's the end of the game. And she's kind of on a platform next to us. There's multiple platforms. We're moving across each of them and the fight's getting harder and harder. And then the last platform before her is the one where you can't pass, where you, you can't win. So, fingers crossed we find out a bit more what happened with that, because Hell was the main bad guy in that one, and it seemed to be the only bad guy we never fought. But, uh, yeah, just, I'm really enjoying this. <laughs> Sorry, just too much talking. Back to the game, let's go. I'm the type to just talk and talk about games. You can't about kill the giant. Shadow. That is her father's voice, by the way, the Shadow. He was a bit of a, well, for lack of a better word, he basically tortured her in the previous game. They told you so. You have seen it. You failed the game. Freaking audio in this game. That's the worst. So it raises my apples. I feel like it's so stupid. I will find a way. No. There is no way. I will always be here to remind you to know your place. To stop you getting ideas into your head. I swear there's images in Well, that's... Let's see, it's very dark. Sorry, I'm just gonna have to tweak the darkness a little bit. It's way too dark, I can't, I can't see.
was gamma? Is that just... Why not just say brightness? Why say gamma? Oops. Oops. Should be a bit better. Oh, see now. Hmm. Either that or everything just got wrong. To banish the darkness. Yeah. Oh, that thing just brings back bad memories. In the previous game, there's a monster you have to fight. I can't remember what its name is, but it can only attack you in the dark. So you have to run from light point to light point. And if you take too long, you die. And it killed me so many times. Like, it alone killed me more times than any other. Than all other monsters and bosses in the game. Because in their game, Senua has a curse on her arm. Where if she dies too many times, her soul will be wiped from existence, basically. And the way they translate the gameplay is if you die too many times, you have to restart the game from scratch. You don't even have your save gets deleted and everything. I never quite got to that point, but the darkness monster kind of just like such a special fight. It's such an awesome fight. Get to it. But the I think you have twenty deaths before the game resets because it's not a super hard game. Oof. That breath sound, the deep breath. That, that feels like a trigger sound. So freaking creepy. I'm, not, I'm, not oh. I'm not even a horror game. I'm not a horror game. I do like this. I don't know why I'm not a horror I think you have 20, 30 deaths in the previous one. And you can see how close you are to being reset because it starts on your hand. And it travels upwards to your shoulder every time you die. By the time I finished the game, because of that darkness monster, he was at my shoulder. So I think one or two more deaths and I'm just Is this a dog or something? That growling is horrifying. Light to dispel the darkness. I need to bring that light with me. Was I supposed to interact with this? Is it a torch? It's a torch, okay. okay so in the previous game, you had a torch that you could carry it with you, but there was water and stuff everywhere. And so it was constantly getting extinguished, so you have to find ways to relight it. And you can also use it to light up other permanent light sources like. The fire pits are the brassiers, the brassiers, the candles basically. And it would seem that this game is going to do something different to see I'm not against it, I'm hoping it doesn't last too long because it went for a long time in the previous game and while it was very cool, I did start to get a bit sick of it. I burn you. It is not so easy to banish me, child. You can't beat me down anymore. My path is the only path. Fudge. You can't hurt me. 
You can't keep me trapped. Okay, so this is like an illusion first. I went that way. So avoid the red. Looks like an arena. Something. You will never find your way through this nightmare. You're always blinded by your madness, your curse. with sacrifice. Burning flesh and spilling blood fill the skies with smoke. Their agony sets us free. Never be free, never safe, unless you heed my words. You can't hurt me. I carry the light. Oh, this is light fades, Senua. Light can be killed. The darkness is oh. all that persists. Your only constant. There is no way out. I would very much like to get out now, please. I don't need here. There is always a way. No. We will see. Shape you. Give 
you strength. Be my daughter again. It's time to give up, child. Leave this land. No. What you did to me, I see it here. They are cowed like I was. Lost like I was. Believing what they're told. Sacrifices. Spilling blood for a lie. darkness now. I see through your lies, and I will show them how to see as I do. I will not appease your gods. I will destroy them. Tried to hold you down in the darkness. darkness. Okay, so that was a. Uh... Told you there was no way out. That the gods ruled you. But you fought back. I wonder if that was a, a flashback to Maybe what I mentioned the earlier in the confused game. She can fight back. She yeah. can. Darkness Maybe there is a way. I think it's to pull it was a god. There is always a way to pull through the darkness. The dark. God of darkness. To kill the giant. She will find a way. Damn. She is strong. You are powerful. She is stronger than this. Damn. To kill the giant. She knows the truth. She sees it now. Tell him. Which was you are wrong, Fagrimer. The giants, they can be killed. But there is a way. Well, I'm not sure I believe that. But I think if anyone can find a way, it's you. He knows we are special. Before, when I rescued you, he understood. You said you were waiting for me. He felt us coming. But I'd never met you. How can he see inside well, I you? I knew someone would come. Somebody different. You are different. Somebody with the ability to look at the world and see what might be. You are special. Now what is? She's not special. And that is you. She's just like the others. No, she I've is special. I've seen you listening to the voices that we cannot hear. To the Varadir and Gandir. Voices? How does he know about us? You have the ability to see behind the veil. You are a Seth Kona, a seer. Whether you know it yet or not. A seer? What is this he speaks of? Do you know, Senwa? Do you know this is you? Iltoiga. Where does she go when the sun is up? She brings suffering to everyone. A monster. She hides down there. Hiding. Waiting. Under the cover of the cliff. She's there most days. Just staying close. These people live in fear. Waiting for us to sleep. Constant fear. They are waiting to you die. You can approach you down there in the shadows. You don't stand a chance. And she won't come out until it's night. You have to do something. This is why you have been called here, Senua. They shouldn't live in fear. He knows. Listen to him. A 
Have you heard of the Hidden Folk? Hidden Folk? The Hidden Folk? Yeah. Have you heard of them? A secret people, powerful, aloof. Once they were gods or something like, but now they hide themselves in the earth. Even the giants steer clear. The giants fear them. If the giants fear them, they must hold the key to their They'll hold the secret. Will they help us? Well, they have no love for men. Whatever ties we have are weaved from heartbreak and despair. Although I did consume their bitter breath found them. just once. So it is not they impossible. Did grab me what I saw. If he can find them, you can find them. <laughs> they will. They will test you. We have been tested They before. might even try to kill you. But if you win their favor... We might die. They might give you what you seek. Where can I find them? They will give us what we seek. There's a rock. Close to here. Where they are said to live. Its entrance is hidden. You might find she it. She will find it. They want you to? You will. I will find it. We might die down there. No. We could die trying to find them. They will give us what we seek. They are dangerous. But they will help us. We will make them. Make them. They know things. They can see things. They can hear things. They are the ones that pulled us here. They are the feeling that brought us here. They will save everyone from death. Gotta get a shot of this. This is something I did constantly in the previous game, just always stopping, getting, just taking photos. To this day, it's some of the most beautiful games I've played. I've actually got a, a shot from yesterday's playthrough as my background for the Xbox at the moment. Never forget get past that good piece of luck. Anyway, I'm just going to do a short stream today. There's uh, been having some issues with my internet, so I might post if I don't push it too far and I just I call it quits for now. But uh, thank you very much to the people that came by to have a, to, to have a watch. Big thanks to anyone that watches it on YouTube. Very much appreciate it. I hope you're all having a good night and staying safe. I'm going to head off. I hope you had a good time. I know I did. I'll catch you later.